Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to study about centralizer of an element in a group. So first of all, let us try and answer this question that at first place, why do we require a centralizer of an element within a group? Right? We all know that for an abelian group, uh, we have all the elements, they commute with each other. But suppose if we have a non-abelian group, in that case, few elements they may commute and few doesn't, right? There may be some which commute. So if we wanted to know about uh, the elements which commute with each other, so we can club them under some category, right? So uh, that category is mainly the centralizer of A, right? So we have clubbed all these elements into a category which is known as the centralizer of an element A within the group G, right? So let's see the definition of the centralizer of an element A. Let If A is any fixed element for a group G, then the centralizer of A in G, which is denoted by this capital C of A, this is the set of all the elements in G that commutes with A, right? Symbolically, it means that we are taking all those elements small g from the group capital G such that small g uh, with A is equal to small a with G, right? So this is the centralizer of an element A in the given group G. Whereas, if you remember for a center, we collect all those elements which commute with every element of A, every element of A. So we call that collection as the center of the group and centralizer uh, and here it was the notation ZG, here the notation is CA, A represents the corresponding element for which we are calculating the centralizer. So this uh, corresponds to all those elements which commute with this particular element A, right? So for an example, we can see and take this dihedral group D4, right? We know this group from the group of symmetries. For the, this group, the centralizer for the element R0 is D4 only. How this is so? Because uh, we wanted to see R0 commute with which all elements. So you, you can clearly see R0 commute with all the elements r0 with r0 is r0 right then r0 with r90 is r90 and r90 with r0 is r90 right so they are the same similarly for other elements also it, uh, the, it commutes why because r0 it is basically the identity of the group and the identity of any group that commutes with every element of the group so the centralizer of the element r0 is nothing but the group itself right and uh, for cr90 let's see what with what all elements would it convert uh, with, will it, uh, will it commute so you see identity would surely be there because identity would commute with every element so we would have r0 r90 is equal to r90 r0 right and uh, what about r90 will it commute with itself so you see r90 and r90 that give us r180 so you see obviously we have this commutativity here r90 into r90 is obviously equal to r90 into r90 right next uh, it also commutes with r180 let's see how this uh, this is done r90 commutes with r180 so we have this thing so the answer is r270 so you have r90 r180 is equal to r270 whereas r180 with r90 that is e equal to r270 so r180 with r90 that is equal to r270 right so you see both of them they are equal to each other so therefore uh, we have the commutativity in this case of r90 with r180 similarly let's see for another element we have it for r270 so r90 with r270 let's see what is it? It is R0 and moreover R270 with R90 that is equal to R0 only. So you see we have the both of the elements as equal. So therefore we have this as the centralizer here. And let's see the, what is the centralizer of R180. Now R180 also commutes with each of the element. 
how r8 uh, r180 obviously would do it with r0 right and r180 with r90 give us this one r90 with 180 give us this so this is the same what about r180 with 180 180 with 180 will give you r0 only so that is obviously there then r180 with r270 that would give us r90 and r270 with r180 that give us r 90 again so you see both of them they are equal to each other so therefore we have the commutativity here in this case as well next is seeing r180 with h so r180 with h this give us v and r uh, h with 180 this also give us v so both of them they are same so we have the commutativity next let's see r180 with v so r180 with v is h and v with r180 that is equal to h only so this is also there we have the commutativity in this case r180 with d it give us d dash and d with r180 that give us d dash so both of them they are same so therefore we have the commutativity in this case as well and r180 with d dash it give us d and d dash with r180 that give us d so you see again the answers are the same so therefore we have the commutativity in each of the case so that means all the elements they compute with r180 so therefore we have the centralizer of the element r180 as equal to d4 only similarly we have the centralizers for all these elements r270 uh, h uh, v d and d dash you can check your results you can calculate all the centralizers and then match your answers here with this results that you should get the same results you can check the results and the commutatively very easily through the use by making use of this scalar table that you already know how to see all the operations suppose we wanted to see uh, does v compute with h so we have to check this thing so we have to first check what is v into h so v into h that is equal to r180 so this is equal to one r180 and what is h into v so h is here v is here so we have this as r180 so both of them they are equal to each other so therefore we have this thing as equal to uh, as both of them they are equal to each other so therefore we have this commutativity with us right next uh, you can also observe that each of the centralizer that we have defined above for d4 for each of the element that centralizer is nothing but a subgroup of the group d4 right so in uh, this observation also lead us to this result which is uh, the theorem it tell us that centralizer of any element a of the given group that forms a subgroup of the group g so for each element a in a group the centralizer of that element that is a subgroup of the group g right and moreover you can see uh, this note very clearly in this note we uh, if the first point tell us that for every element a of a group g zg the center of group is contained in the centralizer of an element a now what is the center of the group center of group contains all those elements g from the group g such that uh, such that that element g commutes with all the elements which are member of the group g so that means we will collect all those elements within this uh, center of the group such that this all the elements here suppose i am talking about this element this element commutes with every el other element of the group this element also commutes with every other element of the group and so on so every element here commutes with every other element of the group right so this is some collection and now i am taking another set which is the centralizer of the given element a here right so for the centralizer of any element a here what do we have uh, we uh, have for the centralizer of the given element a we have a collection such that we will collect all those elements such that these elements commute with a 
right so obviously because here all the elements are such that they commute with every element so it would definitely be present here why because if it commute with all the elements it would definitely commute with a so it would definitely be present here so so all the elements of this set would definitely be present here in this set so therefore this subgroup the center of the group is contained in the centralizer of an element a right this is one point another point that we have here is if our group is abelian so that means all the elements they commute with each other in that case the centralizer of any element is nothing but the group itself why because all those elements which commute with a would be the rest of the uh, rest of the elements of the group g right so it would form the group completely why because the group is abelian all elements commute so that means the elements which commute with a would be the complete group g so this is the result here in this case so i hope you understood this concept of centralizer uh, of an element in a group well that is it for this video thank you for watching